So we've been talking about sketching graphs, but this one's going to be a little bit new to you because so far all we've done is sketch graphs of the original function. In this section, what we want to do is sketch graphs of my derivative. And we really know all the information that we need to know up to this point. We just need to put it in a context that we probably haven't seen yet so far. So let me just give you an example here. So they gave us the original function. This blue function here is a function of f or f of x. What we want to do is we want to graph f prime or f prime of x. So we want to graph the derivative just given the graph of the original function without actually knowing what the original function is. Well, it goes back to what we know about slope. So when our original function has a max, min, or plateau, remember that tells us that our slope at that point is equal to zero. We have horizontal tangent lines. So that tells us that our derivative is equal to zero, and that tells us it's going to intercept our x-axis at that point. So anytime I can pick out max, mins, or plateaus on my original function, that's going to be a x-intercept on my derivative. So for example, here I see a maximum, that's going to be a x-intercept. Here I see a minimum, there's an x-intercept. Here I see a plateau, well that's going to be an x-intercept. Here's a maximum, so that's an x-intercept. And here is a minimum, so that is also an x-intercept. So a couple of these places, even though they are, my original function was an x-intercept, my derivative will also be an x-intercept there because it is a max, min, or plateau at that point. Okay, let's go with what else we know about slope. Well, whenever our original function is increasing, that tells us that our slope is positive. So that tells us that our derivative is going to be greater than zero, or it's going to be positive. So that tells us it's got to be above the x-axis. And likewise, whenever our original function is decreasing, that tells us that our slope is going to be negative, and that tells us that our derivative is going to be less than zero or below the x-axis. So to recap, any time our graph is increasing, our derivative is above the x-axis. So here it's increasing, so my graph's got to be above the x-axis. Here it's got to be above, and here it's got to be above. Anytime my graph is decreasing, that's when my derivative's got to be below my x-axis. So here it's got to be below, here it's got to be below, and here it's got to be below. Now we know it's got to be above and below, but we know it also has to intercept these red dots here. So let's talk about on the left. Green here says below, so that means that it's got to be below my x-axis over here. Green here on the very right is below, so I know it's got to be below my x-axis over here. In between these two points, it's got to be below, but I also have to connect my two points. So the only way I can connect these two points with it being below my x-axis is it for to loop through. Same thing for the above. Anytime it's graphed in yellow, it's got to be above, but it's got to hit all of my points. So the only way it can be above my x-axis is if it connects those two points. So it's got to connect those two points here, curve around because it plateaued there, and connect these two points here. And so this red shape graph here is now my graph, possible graph, for my derivative function. And so basically you have to just summarize this information here. Max, mins, and plateaus intercept my x-axis. Anytime I am increasing, my derivative goes above, and anytime I'm decreasing, my derivative graph is below the x-axis.
So I have another example of this. Same information, the blue graph is our original function, and what we want to do is to sketch the graph of our derivative. I suggest that you pause the video and see if you can come up with a sketch of your graph on your own, and then see if it matches what, with what I come up with. Okay, the first thing that I start with is anytime I have max, mins, or plateaus, I know that's where it's going to intercept my x-axis. So I have a minimum here, that's an intercept. Maximum here is an intercept. Minimum here is an intercept. Max there is an intercept. Min here is an intercept. So each one of these points is where it intercepts my x-axis. Okay, anytime my graph is increasing, like here, here, and here, that's when my graph is going to be above my x-axis. So in between this one and this one, it's got to be above, but it's got to hit those two points. So there we go. Anytime between this one and this one, it's got to be above, but it's got to hit those two points. And so that's going to look something like this. And anytime I'm to the right of this one, it's got to be above. So there my graph is going to go like that. All the other places is decreasing, so it's got to be below. So below my x-axis on the left below my x-axis in between, and below my x-axis in between here. So this here gives me a possible sketch for my derivative. And that's it. That's all you need to do.